Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. I was thinking about the Eatons today. I don't know why, but uh, uh, yes, I do know why. I was going through some stuff, and I saw this book by, uh, uh, well, no, I tell you, names escape me. <laughs> Bear? Uh, one of the ones that Bear wrote, or someone else? No. Oh. Uh, I, I would think of Eaton's and books, and I would think of Louis Well, Lee Lou. Lou. <laughs> Ring? What? Lee Lou wrote the... Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, he graduated with the... Uh, at the same time that Dick did. Oh, Leland Yeoman? No. <laughs> no, it's close. Well, uh, no. it's a Leland anyway. It is Leland. Hmm. Uh, oh, they lived out just off the highway, west, beyond Vouchers. Hmm. Huh. What's his name, honey? I'll think of it maybe after a while. I don't know. Well, I got lots of books here. It might be one of them in his back. Yeah, I was going to say, if he graduated, or, do you have Michaela's book with you? Yeah, you grab that out, I and guess. If he graduated about the same time as somebody, we can find him because we have that all school annual that Michaela's class put together. It's got oh, every oh. graduating class and who was in it for. Uh -huh. yeah. So, about you think he graduated with Doc? Uh, no, with uh, Richard. Oh. oh, with Bear. Okay. What's his name? It wasn't right? Albert or anything, was it? No, she said Leland. Leland. I don't Leland. understand. The only Leland I ever knew was Yeoman. Yeah. Who wrote the book? So what Which year? book? The books that the fellow I met in L.A. Oh. Hmm. Um. I thought of it this morning. What year did, did Bear graduate? Oh. Ish. He was on the first school bus. That's about all I know. Have you, oh, he was? Well, they have a picture. It was a wagon, actually. I believe they have it at the school. And, you know... <laughs> I did write a poem when I was in high school about uh, uh, when you said school bus. Would you like to hear it? Yes. Okay. Uh, way back when, like 36, the country kid was in a fix. There was no bus to come around to haul the country kid to town. We left our home on Monday morning to spend the school week at the dorm. And when the winter snow got deep, we stayed right there week after week. But there were things to compensate, for this our luck we called our fate. When to the kitchen we would roam, we'd find our mother away from home. She'd be there fixing food to feed her ever hungry brood. I thought I'd never get enough of that delicious golden stuff. Her cornbread. Done. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's wonderful. That is I will poem. totally forgive you for not for remembering Leland's last name if you remembered a poem that you wrote in high school. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, anyhow. That is really neat. And I think I left out a verse, but that's all right. That's, yeah. that's really good. You'd never know it by. I mean, does that tell you anything? Yeah. Yeah. I mean that. That really kind of gives you an idea of what it was like back then. And there was 53 of us that stayed at the dorm. Oh, wow. That's a lot 53. of kids. 53, wow. Mm -hmm. I, perhaps more kids that are in high school now. What year Definitely. did you graduate? I didn't graduate. You didn't graduate. What year would you have graduated? I would have graduated in uh, 40. 40. See, that's the problem with this book is I would really it's, rather it covered everybody that ever was in that class. And that was my plan when they started I'm this sure book. That, right? uh, oh, he, he, they graduated many years before that. Well, well, just start at the beginning. well, that book may be right in the closet. Oh, she's busy. Go ahead, I'm listening. I don't know if I can find it or not. That's just I do you remember what it was about? The book? Yeah. Oh, he wrote dozens of books. Yes. Richard Eaton graduated in 33. No. no I did run off. There's no way so Have you ever seen this so. picture? Oh, was that, that from one of the yeah. concentration yeah. camps? Leon? Yes. One wow. verses out that helped liberate. Wow. That's pretty cool. Lee Florin. Lee Florin. Yeah. Lee Florin. Okay, there we go. He wrote a lot of westerns. Oh. And used his experiences 
Montana. Oh, we'll have to area. I'll have, have to look up some of those. No to that. And yeah. Oh, when I uh, met him in L.A., he and his wife. Why? Uh, uh, well, of course, Bruce had met him before, but I never had. But anyway, I said to him, you know, I have the funniest feeling when I read some of your books <laughs> that I've been there. And he said, oh, oh, yes, he said. Well, of course. It's a lot easier to write about places you've been and know about than, than places you don't. <laughs> That's cool. And then Bobby after that, he moved to Mexico. Uh, now Mark is your little brother. Mad River Guns. Oh, it's only expired by three Mark years. Mark is his dad. Marcus That's a new dead. one. Okay, Mark. Let me have that back. <laughs> Marcus is dead. Yeah. Okay. But he looks so much like his Uncle Mike that... Well, I was trying to think of the youngest Johnson boy. That's Mark. Yep, that's, that's his Mark. dad. And he used to come to the station with his dad. And one day he came in and he said to me, uh, Do you he, tell me all about what went on at the Johnson farm, you know, because... He came in and visited with me all the, every time he came in, or most of the time. And he said, uh, you know what my dad said when he ran the tractor off the irrigation ditch bridge? And I just, just <laughs> knew what he was going to tell me, and I wouldn't let him tell me. <laughs> you every, figured he maybe shouldn't be telling you that. Huh? I thought maybe. <laughs> That's yeah, funny. I, I thought maybe. So who did, speaking of the, where we live, at, where Duane lived, who who did own that before? I've heard it was a mixed dairy. It was a mixed dairy, and ahead of that it was the Gillette's. Gillette's? Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know that I've ever heard that. Oh, you didn't. Oh, well, yeah. That's cool. Now, one of the reasons that Kitty Lou, perhaps, shoot out at Milk River, called me, or she didn't call me, but she did one time when this uh, uh, Jane Lambert was writing a book, and she there was things she needed to know. She said, and so I got this call. She was at the museum in Glasgow with Kitty Lou at the time. And she said, I would surely know the answer to some of those questions. Well, this Jane Lambert that did write this book got on the phone and told me there was some things she really needed. And this book she wrote was uh, called The Cowboy Sugar. Years by Jane yes, Lambert. <laughs> Any, anything you want to put and in there would be uh, wonderful. <laughs> uh, in writing this book, the book was about Charlie Russell. And, of course, I... Didn't know Charlie Russell, but one of the things she really wanted to know, she said, and I'm sure she got hold of Tom Lund following this, but she needed to know the names of the Lund brothers. Oh. Because, uh, and of course, uh, Hilmer Lund was our neighbor, and so consequently I didn't know the name of the Lund brothers. And, uh, also, a little bit about them, but whether she got this info from me or from Tom, I don't know. I'm assuming perhaps it was Tom because she did ask me a lot of questions, and, and uh, there isn't a lot of the answers in this book that she wrote. But uh, anyway, one of the things she wrote about Charlie Russell in there was about uh, Charlie came to Hinsdale, and uh, he got acquainted with the Lund brothers. And if I remember right, the Lund brother's sister, uh, Ratchford, she, or they owned the livery stable and the bar. And uh, it seems like uh, the Lund brothers and Charlie got to celebrate, and then <laughs> they celebrated until <clears throat> it was time for him to leave. And when he went to leave, he had stayed with the Ratchfords. <laughs> And he had no money to pay for lodging for himself or his horse. And uh, so anyway, he did uh, a, well, what am I trying to say? 
sculpture. A sculpture oh. and, and also a picture. And uh, Mrs. Rashford kind of realized the value of this thing at the time. And so she accepted those in lieu of payment. <laughs> oh, of payment perfect. Wow. For, and I don't know if you've ever read that book or not, but uh, the Cowboy Years, Charlie Russell. I'll definitely have to go read it now. I didn't realize he ever came up here. <laughs> well, I know he painted that one of the grizzly bear out south of Seiko. And they got that little monument for him over there in Seiko. That's always been cool, I thought. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there was a lot of things that she talked about that uh, I don't know whether the information that she got came from me or somebody else, but that's kind of beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in the book. And, and, uh, and your name is written in it. And my name is in it two or as three times, I think. Nice. And, uh, but not as <clears throat> strictly as a donor. Right. As a contributor. Right. And uh, Tom Lunds is in it too, and Kitty Lewis. And one day Kitty Lou called me and she said, uh, This package arrived at the museum and uh, it had three books in it. One was for Kitty Lou, one was for me, and one was for the museum. Oh, wow. Right. And so, anyway. I've talked to her a few times. I, uh, when I called her to thank her for the book, why, uh, I told her I would do everything I could to promote the sale of her book. I think it sells for 20 bucks. Anyway, I think I sold seven of them. Nice. Well, I think you might have sold eight, so I'm gonna have to go find one now. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're a pretty good saleswoman. Oh, I. <laughs> wouldn't go so far to say that. And of course, you know that uh, my mother came here in 1912 to teach the Rock Creek School. And, however, it was omitted from the map when they did the map because it, the school was no longer there when they came around to take these pictures, you know, mm -hmm. and all the other country schools and that. And uh, there's any number of kids, of course, that she had. Uh, Rain? Yeah? Are you there? Yes. Would you like to go get that book? You know, mm -hmm. either... Oh, bring my purse and... and yeah, so and I'm, that book, too. I'm sure I should know this, but what is your maiden name? My mother's name was Florence Williamson. Florence Williamson? But mm -hmm. mother's name. Your maiden name, she asked. And what oh, what's your maiden, your maiden name? My maiden name mm -hmm. was Birch, B R I T S C H. Okay. I knew yeah. I I knew I should know that, but <laughs> uh -huh. I was telling Brady that I remember when I worked at the hardware store that you and Bruce would come in and sit and visit with me for a while. Oh, <laughs> I always enjoyed that. Yeah, and of course, due to the fact that I worked at the station for so many years, I. Met a lot of people. Yep. That was the, the most embarrassing thing about working at the hardware store was when people would come in and I didn't know who they were and everyone knew who I was. It, of course, I was in high school and on the basketball team and yes. everybody saw mm -hmm. me. Um, Mark used to give me all sorts of heck when we first started dating and I had to ask him who uh, Bill Court was. <laughs> I had no idea who Bill Court was, but Bill Court lived south of town and I lived north of town. I yeah. really didn't have any reason to know him. Absolutely. <laughs> the north doesn't meet the south. Yes. <laughs> well, my classmate Shelly Fry did not know who Sid Simonson was, and I thought that was crazy. Oh, but everyone should know who Sid Simonson was, but of course he was my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is the original, and if I can find all the papers. It should all be there together, if it's the mm -hmm. one with the ribbon on it. This is the one with the, that has, it has the ribbon on it. As oh. a, that's the original. And she came. And there was some other papers. She came in 1912 to teach that school, and uh, when you get right down to it, uh, now she taught by Reinhardt's mother, uh, Kitty Lou's mother, uh, Name some more. And there was quite a lot of 
There was a lot of the Zegers, as you'll see. Yeah, Elmer Zeger, Hattie Zeger. Yeah. And, uh, Ella Wood. That, that, mm -hmm. was, that, that was by Reinhardt's. Cecil Phillips. Family. And that's uh, uh, <laughs> Rutherford's. Lots of, lots of Phillips. Mm. Charles Gillespie. Don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> the Gillespie name sounds familiar. Lottie Robb. Uh, no, the Robbs Rob. were related to the... Uh, Mrs. Cornwall was a Robb. And H. Rudder was on the school board. H. Rudder oh. was on the school board, right. Mildred Halbert. Leva McCammon. Mm -hmm. Mae Phillips. Roscoe Miller. Now, that's... Uh, uh, Thay Wright was George Wright's mother. Oh, okay. And, of course, May was Faye's sister, if I remember right. Oh, yep, there's a Faye Phillips. Faye Phillips, May Phillips. Mm -hmm. Gail Phillips, Cecil Phillips, Gwen Phillips. Now, now as I, if I remember right, Gail Phillips was Bob Rutherford's father. Mm. And then, I don't know what happened to his mother, but I know then that the Rutherfords adopted Bob. Oh. That is a neat little book. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. And when George, or, not, or Roly, took a look at that, and, or his wife did, well, no, and they said, ah, why, that's over a hundred years old. That's amazing. And it is. And I, different ones have asked for copies of it. Uh, there's relatives that are people that are in there, and uh, mm, those are very cool. And you were at the church the other night when uh, uh, Irene gave, uh, um, well, ring. Where'd you give that to? Uh, of the fire department. Um, that was. Tollefson. Tollefson. Oh, yeah. Jim. Jim. Jim Tollefson. And uh, he said something about it being over a hundred years old. Uh, and uh, I don't know that that paper was over a hundred years old, but I do know that uh, that the organization, when they tried to organize it. The Volunteer Fire Department. Yep. It's probably about the only one, I would assume, too, that's still around. Who's that? This the little book, book you have. I'm sure it's the only one of its kind. And what is this? Oh, uh, that's... Your, your book? Oh, of that. Yeah, it's probably the only one. Uh, original, perhaps, yes. But uh, there's been many copies made. Okay. And uh, in fact, I think there's some original pages out of here that are gone. Oh, really? Oh. Because I think I see them in the some of the copies here. I don't know if that was in there. Yeah. Oh well, one of them. One there was one picture. Not two. Oh, maybe there was only one. That yeah. is you, that in there. Mm -hmm. You might grab that other I just envelope off the... Oh yeah, it's all still there. Oh, yeah, okay. It's in good maybe. shape. I just thought maybe there was a, one or so pages. Right. It was hard to copy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and put the way that it was in the original. Mm -hmm. Well, this, this, the envelope. this embossed. Oh, yeah. That's just wonderful. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't bring the... my coffee farther away. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep leaning over it. No, just, no, just, just farther oh. away from the book. I'm like, that would be horrible if I accidentally spilled my coffee. And, and got somewhere that book in this... And what? It showed that this was printed in somewhere in Ohio. Yes. About 15 miles from where I live. Oh, really? Yes. And now, see, I don't see it anywhere no, on I these. Don't so I know there's a page. Oh, missing. right here. Ah. Canal Dover, Ohio. And Dover, Ohio, huh? Siebert Printing Company. 